everyone so today uh, I wanted to show you how to add to our server some uh, static page serving and by that I mean that we're actually going to serve a website a simple uh, landing page website uh, and we're going to serve it with our server now a word of note usually um, typically you not always will not want to your backend server to serve your static files and sometimes you will not you will want uh, some kind of a proxy like an nginx or something like that will serve the static files your actual html files and javascript and uh, css and all of that and uh, it will in the inner network it will uh, uh, connect to the backend server which we uh, we're building up until now uh, that gives you the ability to specify the, a specific IP and only one IP that can uh, access uh, the server uh, but this time we're going to serve uh, everything from our server uh, including the static files um, yeah so let's start so first I went on and find uh, a, a simple well not that simple but a template HTML template with animation and everything and all I did is just uh, download it uh, unzipped it into my desktop and um, so let's open it up and we see we have uh, some CSS files fonts uh, images index and some JavaScript so let's take all of those and let's copy this into our uh, project let's create a new folder and call it static let's insert everything inside of it yep cool so now we can see the, all the CSS and um, and the index file which is kind of big so this is not a simple uh, template uh, as you're going to see next okay so now let's go to our main file and see how we serve those uh, static files so to serve them we simply add a echo middleware let's add it to our main uh, main group so let's use let's add a middleware I'll just leave it uh, with all the configurations now I need to specify the root uh, of the uh, static files we want to serve so by doing this we granting access uh, to the client to uh, ask, ask static files with, with, the, with its path actually uh, so we want at first to put our server inside of the static file and serve all of it uh, content so let's do uh, this which means that from its place uh, it can serve all the files so let's see how it works and another thing because we are using uh, the root uh, path if you remember we have this yellow we started at the beginning this will, this will confuse the everything so let's just add something like this so the root path will be only uh, one yeah so now let's build the thing let's export oops go path Right, now we need to copy from our bin directory the binaries to the static directory. Now I want to go into the static directory and run it from uh, within because the path matters uh, from where you actually run the process. So now let's run main, the main uh, uh, binaries and let's try to access it so let's go to localhost 
8,000 and it will be the root path cool and actually seeing the site you can see it's not really a simple site it's uh, back with animations and uh, pretty nice CSS and even uh, oops even in a menu I think I saw before yeah so that's kind of nice oops but now we have a problem and why you can see that our binaries is inside the static page and what it means is that I can actually access my binaries see I can save this actually in uh, me and everyone so we don't want uh, that to happen so what we're going to do we're going to run it from the bin directory which means we need to change the path to go one uh, directory up and then to the static directory this way uh, the main uh, our main binaries won't be accessible uh, from the outside but everything inside the static uh, directory will be which that's what we want because here is it's all the CSS images JavaScript and so forth so let's save it yes install it now let's remove the main from the static cd into bin oops and run the main cool now when we refresh it actually we won't see anything but we when we try to access main we get uh, not found because uh, uh, the server can uh, looks for main uh, inside our static page and can't find it cool so now let's explore a little bit the options we have uh, with uh, static uh, function middleware like everything in echo in uh, echo middleware we have um, we have uh, static with um, with uh, configuration sorry so let's see what we got uh, here and uh, there are really many options you can specify the root and we so we did to anything that you want you can specify the index as you can you saw we didn't specify uh, the index file when we uh, called for root and in, if I have uh, using webpack or something like that and our entry file isn't uh, index HTML but it's index J JS or something like that then we can use it the HTML uh, 5 boolean it's for single page application which have uh, its own routing uh, um, it helps to handle uh, this uh, um, conflict uh, that might occur and yeah that's actually that's it for the most part um, for deployment, uh, at this point, I would deploy only two uh, uh, directories in this project, uh, the static one and the binaries. Um, uh, actually, I could, if I, I, in the first uh, option, we could uh, deploy only the static one, but as we saw, we don't want to make uh, the main binary available from, uh, to be from the outside. So I would deploy the bin and the static. Uh, and yeah this was fairly a short video uh, but really nice one so we saw like in you know, five minutes we're uh, serving a full blown uh, landing page and now we can uh, go in and do our customization or whatever and uh, change things and uh, build it to our own needs uh, so thank you guys thank you very much next time we're going to do the refactoring that i was uh, talking about uh, so thank you for all the views, the likes, and the support. Bye-bye.